This is Ken Korak of the Oakland A's, and you're watching Bay Area Sports Wrap. We're joined by Dennis Eckersley here on Bay Area Sports Wrap, and uh, Eck, great to see you on the program. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, first of all, your thoughts on being reunited with Jose and seeing Steiny here at uh, the Hall of Fame ceremony. Well, I, I mean, it's, it's nice that um, I get a chance to be here because normally I would probably be somewhere else, but the last couple of years I've moved back into town, so I feel lucky to be a part of it. Jose was such a big part of this. I remember, you know, I remember him back as a rookie, and then I played with him that second year, 87, and then he turned into, you know, superstar, 88, 40, 40. I remember Steiny was a rookie in 87 when I got here, so I was... You know, on the ground floor of his career, who ended up being one of the really good defensive and offensive catchers in the league for a long, long time. So, two great players, and uh, I'm glad to be a part of it. What does it mean to you when you're able to come back to the to the Coliseum? I know this is probably going to be one of the last times you're going to come back here, but it's got to be special when you see all these guys assembled in one room. It's special, but at the same time, it's like sad. <laughs> it really is. Uh, I'm glad I'm here, but but this is I'm still in denial. You know, I've uh, keep I, was, I held out hope for a long time, and and part of me still does in a crazy way. But you know, it is what it is, and uh, life things change, and then uh, you don't ever expect a team to leave a town in, in this day and age. But sadly, this is what's happening, and uh, these guys represent the memories that we all hold on to. You know, it's probably one of the best times of my life, about 10 years that I spent here in Oakland. So I guess you're just lucky to have those memories, but it's still sad. Yeah, now I know for you, you grew up as a Giants fan. That's why your pitching style, your leg kick was, you were trying to emulate Juan Marshall, right? Exactly. So it's funny, I mean, I wasn't a Giant, I mean, an A's fan, because they didn't get here till 68, and I was like 14. So it was all about the Giants then, and now after this happens, it's going to be all about the Giants again. So, uh, sadly, I can't get off of the fact that there, <laughs> this is happening. But I was a Giants fan. Willie Mays, Juan Marichal. You have, you have any like uh, A's, A's memories that stand out to you the most? Maybe clinching the World Series at Candlestick? Oh, yeah, that's the biggest moment, without a doubt, especially after it had the earthquake. And we almost didn't come back. And added to that the disappointment of the year before with the Kurt Gibson thing. You know, and luckily we won it right after that the next year, which took some of the sting out of that. But, uh, yeah, that's something to hold on to. Oh, yeah. You know, I've played 24 years, one world championship, so it means the world to me. Speaking of closers, I was thinking, what do you think of the A's closer? That guy Mason Miller is pretty amazing. He's got the easiest delivery, and he throws 102. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's Miller time. <laughs> you know, you just uh, hope somebody like that could carry on. Um, you know, you'd be, you're probably trying to make him a starter again. Who knows if he'll keep doing it? But there's no telling. You know, the sky's the limit if he keeps doing that. Do you feel like you were kind of like a trailblazer in that regard? I mean, because the, the way that you, you came about as a closer, there were guys that were closers before you, like Goose Gossage, but you became the guy that really was like more of the one-inning guy that really kind of, you know, ninth inning comes, you're yeah. closing the door. Well, it's funny because Tony's here now, La Russa, and he was really probably the, he's the guy that changed the game. You know, he's sort of innovative at that time to, you know, go with a... It made sense, you know, go one inning. You can do it four or five times a week. So I was lucky to be a part of that, you know, right place, right time, and we made a little history. Last thing, I, you mentioned change. What do you think of all the rules that baseball keeps implementing? They keep making... I think they're, they're kind of like taking something that's not perfect, but pretty close to it and kind of changing the product, not, not for the better. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I... I'm careful not to say anything in, in particular. I mean, I like the fact that the games are faster, I tell you that. But uh, nothing's perfect, you know, and they're always looking to change. And so uh, some of the rules have been good, you know. I mean, you're trying to make the game be in play, put the ball in play. You're, you know, the guy's striking out too much and all that. But i got to be careful because the game is evolving and they're trying to do the best they can. This is A's TV announcer Chris Carey for Bay Area Sports Wrap. Please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.